Now a warning about this next story. Some of the details you're about to hear are very graphic. It all surrounds a high profile Chicago attorney stripped of his powerful position tonight after several women came forward with disturbing accusations. Here's CBS 2's Charlie DeMar. In an 11 page complaint filed by the Attorney Registration and Disciplinary Commission or ADRC, the agency that regulates attorneys for the Illinois Supreme Court, Chicago attorney David Pasolka is accused of criminal sexual assault and sexually abusing former employees at his firm. The complaint also goes on to say that Pasolka assaulted a client while serving as a court appointed ad litem attorney in a divorce case. The judge appoints a guardian litem for the child to figure out what's going on. They're there are some of the ugliest cases in all of litigation are these types of divorce cases. Charles Goldberg, the Cook County Public and Guardian, says an ad litem attorney is assigned typically in divorce cases to represent the child's best interest and make custody recommendations to a judge. The recommendations carry, in many cases, a lot of weight. Back to the complaint against Pasolka. While he was working as an ad litem attorney in a divorce case, the complaint accuses him of telling the mother of the child involved what she had to do for sole custody. The complaint reads in part, she only had to do a little extra something and that she was a smart girl and that if she really wanted her children, he could do that for her if she would have sex with him. We're playing for little children and to sell out the children and their interests for sexual favors for one of the parents, it, that has to be one of the most, um, if true, um, profound violations of, of trust. The ARDC filing outlines years of alleged sexual abuse at the hands of Pasolka, some of which occurred at his loop offices. From March 2012 to September 2018, the complaint outlines allegations from Jane Doe 1 that on almost a daily basis, Pasolka, quote, pressed his body against hers, pushed Jane Doe 1 against a wall so that she was pinned between him and the wall, and while doing so, forcibly kissed her face and or neck and forcibly placed his hands on top and underneath her clothing and touched her pelvic and vaginal and breast areas and or while pressing his body against hers. Jane Doe 3 says that while working for Pasolka from December 2016 to October 2018, the ARDC report reads, on multiple occasions, respondent exposed his genitals to Jane Doe 3, and on one occasion, he gestured for her to perform oral sex upon him, which she refused to do. The ARDC filed the complaint last week, but records show the agency was made aware of at least one of these allegations as far back as March 2017, and to this day, Pasolka is still practicing and has not faced any type of discipline. Now, we asked the ARDC why it has taken three years since that initial allegation to file that formal complaint that was just filed last week. They declined to comment, citing Supreme Court rules that prevent them from doing so. And just yesterday, Pasolka, he was suspended from his role as a court-approved mediator. I did speak to him at length on the phone today. He denies all of these allegations. He says that he is simply being dragged through the mud and he does not think that the ARDC has enough clear and convincing evidence against him. Reporting live tonight, Charlie DeMar, CBS 2 News. Thank you, Charlie.